What is going on, lunatics? It's May, which means that Binance has done their burn. And the amount, 1.4 billion tokens. Now, that's not near what some of these other burns have been, but it is higher than a few of the very low months. Now, it does mean that trading volume has gone significantly down. And uh, could that be attributable to people trading on weeks? Nope. Uh, could that be attributable to the Bitcoin dip in price? Yes. So there's a lot of stuff to unpack here. Before we do that, if you would, please hit the like button, subscribe button, and the bell to be notified of future content. And uh, let's start to check this out. So the first article is going to be about the burn. And there is 1.4 billion Luna Classic tokens that have been burnt over the last month. So not what we want to see. Certainly want to see a lot more burns. But, you know, this is window dressing, if you will. And no disrespect to anybody who supports this. No disrespect to Binance. Of course, this is a great thing. However, it's going to take a repeg. <clears throat> it's going to take a lot from the community in order to continue to, to manifest bigger and more robust burns. Because, you know, it's going to take a long, long time at, at this rate to burn any significant amount of the supply. So that being said, we are working on different ways to make this happen and improve it. So we'll keep you posted if anything uh, happens like the repeg discussion that we are having. So the other news that we have is, uh, so May 22nd is going to be the day that the SEC and Terraform Labs uh, get in court for the hearing about what the penalties should be and how much Terraform Labs should have to pay. Uh, of course, they're asking for 5.3 billion in fines, uh, an enormous amount. But here's the good part. The good part, it is no longer in the hands of Judge Jed Rakoff. If you don't know who that is, there is a meme coin that we have out here in the Lunk ecosystem named after him. Ironically, of course, because this guy is um, 82 years old, and try to show all you kiddies what you should be doing, Shucky Darney. Or I don't know, whatever he says, he's super old. So uh, I, I just assume he opens his mouth and dust flies out. But that's just me. Anyway, he says uh, this is taking it out of his hands and putting it in, in, in the hands of uh, a jury. So this is important. And I think that that would be a, a fantastic thing. The jury, of course, did find Terraform Labs to be guilty of uh, what was alleged here. And what was alleged here was that in May of 2021, they lied to investors by saying that the algorithm the algorithm of uh, Terra fixed the, the stability. And it was not that. It was actually Jump Crypto Trading in Chicago, Illinois. Jump Crypto Trading, who, by the way, in May of 2022, dumped their coins on the open market and wrecked the price action. So that's, that's something for a different time, of course. But for now, that's what's happening. Uh, also, uh, we've got uh, um, Lunk $1 Fast Track Recovery via Fair Transaction Tax. This is suggesting to provide the community with an option to suppress the total supply of Lunk down by trillions and restore Lunk price to a dollar. Um, in a relatively short a period of time, this is a fair tax that's being imposed or uh, scheduled to be imposed. Guys, nobody's going to pay. <clears throat> People do not understand that if you start to tax everybody, they will stop trading. So... Um, that this is probably destined to fail. Although there are some details in here, go. I, I would encourage you to go check it out. In Commonwealth, hasn't come up for a vote, but there, there should be a discussion uh, to, to be had. But if there's a tax or something like that, Binance is going to stop what they're doing. There's not a, a good path forward in that in, in that context. So, um, but we'll keep you posted if something changes. Of course. Now, if you haven't already, make sure that you hit uh, Terra Casino over here. Uh, weeks, if you're looking for a gaming experience or you're looking to uh, help me out by signing up and burning some more tokens, I want to be the guy that burns the most tokens. That's all. I just want to be the guy that burns the most tokens. So if we can burn 1.4 billion like Binance every month over on weeks, that's another significant burn that's going to be happening. And, and you guys are not trading on Binance or most of you probably not trading on Binance. So um, LFG, baby, let's go. Uh, anyway, so let's move on to the price action because now we want to talk about um, uh, now we want to talk about what is important. And there's some really good information here. Um, as you can see right here, the burns, are, look, we're not really dipping uh, as bad as some of the other projects. Now, um, I, I got to say this, Bitcoin down over 5% today. Of course, there were a lot of meme coins. There were a lot of different coins that were down you know, uh, 15, 20% 
yesterday. Uh, there's other tokens that just continue to drop precipitously at this point because people are exiting positions and we're starting to see a little bit. Now, of course, the, the ETH, the Bitcoin pairing is getting really high. Um, so when you you know look at it overall, you see Ethereum down 4%, you see Bitcoin down 5.5%, uh, Render down big, and Luna Classic kind of holding up pretty well, down 3% at this point. Now, there was a big dip down into the 92 range, but that was a massive sort of sell-off. We could be seeing that again happening. I'm not saying that we won't, but at this point, uh, it, you got to be happy to see that we're bouncing off of our kind of support level. Uh, which is this 0 0.382 line expecting a reversal again we're still I'm, I'm still expecting a reversal of three zeros 11 eight coming up pretty soon um I, I you know I, I I get the sense here that the market wants to run that we're just not giving it an opportunity because we're 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 constantly getting sell-offs on Bitcoin right now and look the having is here so any moment now, that that real sort of sending is going to start. We just haven't reached that point yet. I, I, if you follow my other videos, you'll know why I explain it in detail, why we're not pumping yet. But anyway, I, I suspect that we're going to see a big move coming pretty soon. And once everybody is shaken out, that's basically what it is. That once we've shaken everybody out, then that's when the next big move happens. So now let's talk about uh, what's going on in voting. Uh, let me take you through the process. Then I want to show you a special uh, special little something here that you know might help uh, tremendously uh, for you if you're interested in having an enjoyable experience online. So rules to prevent double and network validating. Now we're going to come over here to Lunk Dash. By the way, volume still just kind of eh, you know not great, but uh, we're going to come over to Lunk Dash and we can look here and we can see rules to prevent double uh, and network valid. So. One of the things, and remember, there was no with veto here, and that was Jesus is Lord, of course, because he's the one doing it. Uh, and then you have Lunk Swap over here, and you got POS. No, you got other people here who voted no. Now, here's the thing. Hexagon, friends of the family, they voted no. Uh, now, why would, would they vote no in accordance with it? Well, you know, if you read through this, it's poorly worded, uh, probably needs to uh, be improved in presentation or something like that. So remember, vote when you're when you're delegating, make sure that you you vote your conscience on this. Make sure that you vote um, how you first of all, understand what it is that you're voting on. Read the words, not not the headline, uh, and then decide for yourself. But it's important that you you come check this out. Uh, Interstellar Lounge has voted yes. Happy Caddy Cryptos voted yes. So we're getting you know we're getting a nice green here. Um, there's still, again, high uh, high node people here. Like Jesus is Lord saying, no, you can't cut out my secondary, uh, my secondary income, I want to say, or uh, you can't stop me from bypassing the rule. I, I don't know what the logic is over there. Um, may, maybe they, they, they feel like, uh, look, too much power. That's basically what it is, too much power. So um, decide what's best for you and then delegate to whomever it is that best uh, represents your belief. And if you vote no, then delegate with somebody who's voting no. If you vote yes, delegate with somebody who's voting yes if they're not voting along with your beliefs. But you guys should be voting. So uh, that helps to figure out exactly what you know what the next step is. So uh, go in, can, cast your vote. Make sure that you do that. Go to the station uh, and, and take care of that today. Now, as burn trackers go, of course, not updated yet because we haven't got the burn wallet update. We'll get that tomorrow. But uh, 297 million in the last seven days. As we flip over to tomorrow, this number is going to go up to about 1.8 to 1 1.7 uh, billion, which is a significant amount. Uh, of course, Binance is still going to be the top burner overall, now having burned 57 billion total tokens. Um, it's, it, again, big, big amount, but uh, check it out if you want. Now, uh, in closing, this is the important part here. Cryptonomy.finance is your venture capital investment fund. If you're looking to launch a project and you need seed capital, contact Cryptonomy.finance today. They have a $74 million investment fund, and they processed over $10 billion in the last five years. So far, guys, on my flexible account, I've earned 0 0.001 Bitcoin. On my fixed account, this is where it gets interesting. We're going to make another deposit here, 0.5 Bitcoin. We're going to do this for 12 months again. We create another staking protocol with a half a Bitcoin for the next one year. 
checking my Ethereum holdings, you can see that by the end of this vesting process, I will have 3.23 Ethereum more than the three that I put in. And the most important thing, gentlemen, ladies, the launch pad. The launch pad is still producing significant yields on every launch. My accrued interest so far, a little bit over $109,000. Can't stress to you enough, guys. Check out cryptonomy.finance today if you need venture capital or if you just want to earn some yield off of your holding. If you've never been and you have BNB, if you have Ethereum, if you have Bitcoin, if you have Dogecoin, Whatever it is that you have, if you have Luna Classic, then you can come over here and do some risk-based gaming at the Terra Casino. Uh, they also have, and this is going to be fascinating for you. I'm going to pull this up on the big screen here for you. Um, and, and guys, look, I'm, I'm not connected here, so it, it shows me. Uh, this is region-specific, so you know, test your region and see what's available for you in your region. But um, it, when you come over here, this is the important part. There's crypto trading, right? I'm going to click on crypto trading. Uh, we're going to uh, acknowledge uh, we're going to acknowledge, and then I want you to see this. This is based on uh, this is a fun little thing. You can you can literally sit here and watch the Bitcoin price as it plays out real time uh, on a chart, uh, and you're able to zoom out and then just continue to see exactly how uh, the trend is forming. Uh, it, in fact, you can see this little line showing that we appear to be on the upswing. Uh, if it plays out somewhere around here. We should notice another big uptick if that line is holding um, and, and forming, if you will. And up oh, there you go. So um, if you're looking at it and, and you're able to, by the way, uh, there, there is a, a risk uh, component to this. So you're able to go check that out. Uh, there, there are plenty of different opportunities, uh, bonus wars. Uh, there's there's uh, sports, whatever it is that you're looking for. And you can use Bitcoin. You can use uh, Ethereum. You can use Dogecoin. Uh, you can use BNB. Uh, you can use Luna Classic, uh, USTC. So you are able to do uh, whatever you want to have fun and perhaps earn yourself a little bit of yield if you check out Terra Casino, who is, by the way, um, not Terra Port, but they're they're uh, it's in the same ecosystem. All these guys kind of work together. So and this is brought to you by Terraport. So if you want to do some trading, go check out terraport.finance. So that's your update for the day. It seems like we're in a good place. I, I look, we, we don't like a dip the way that we're dipping right now. Uh, there are a lot of people who can't understand why it go down, why it go down, and they start freaking out. I've had people attacking me. Um, I, I told you guys that some wild random person uh, on a, a coin gape, I want to say, said that Bit, uh, uh, Ethereum or, or I'm sorry, Luna Classic would do four dollars and sixty nine cents or some wild number like that um, a, a few months back, and I didn't say it, but there was an article that said it, right? And then somebody came into me yesterday on my live and said, "I'm not watching you anymore because uh, Luna Classic didn't go to four dollars, dude, bro, dude, 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 bro, bro, dude. What are you doing? <sighs> what I do is for entertainment." What I do is I read you these news articles. I give you my opinion of what's happening on the chart, but 24 hours away, maybe that's going to happen. Uh, you know, 48 hours away. Uh, what's the trend look like? Does the trend stick? No, it doesn't. So uh, it, it, I am not a financial advisor. I'm not qualified to give you financial advice. If you want financial advice, go to a professional whose job it is to give you that. I'm here for entertainment and information. So I hope that you guys are entertained and informed about what's going on in the Luna Classic communities after we get done with this and you experience new projects and, and new things. So go check out Terra Casino. Make sure that you look at Lunk Dash. Make sure that you go check out Lunk Burn to find out what really is going on. Go to the Commonwealth to make sure that you're informed about potential things that are happening in this ecosystem. And just read the news. You'll know exactly what's going on in these communities and in this ecosystem if you just pay attention and let this thing thrive and grow. That's all I got for now. Thank you so much for tuning in. Remember, this is not financial advice, but I'm always right. You guys have a good day and we'll talk to you again soon.